Hello YouTube. This is kind of ridiculous, but uh, the last video I posted about the Mad Cat's Mojo, uh, that was interesting, but this is even more interesting. Uh, I've been working with this for quite a while to try and get it working correctly, and I've had a lot of trial and error, uh, but I finally figured it out, and I just thought I'd share it. Now this is a netbook. This is a Dell Mini 1012. I've done a couple modifications to it, and more so just to get it to do what I want it to do, like a, there was a motherboard that was made with this model and it came with an extra PC, uh, mini PCI slot and it, uh, it allowed for a Broadcom Crystal HD decoder, which I have inside of here. Uh, that's the key to getting this to work. Um, now I do realize this is a bit of old tech and I could easily go spend a few hundred dollars on a laptop that could do this but I was just really trying to tinker around and make it work so anyway let's get into it uh, basically the purpose of this video is to show that the mini 1012 uh, is pretty well the only netbook that I know that can do this unless you have a what is it, NVIDIA ION GPU which would probably do it fine but yeah I'm just gonna show that this can, in fact, play 1080p video, uh, and it's, in this case, extended onto a uh, high-definition TV. So just before I get into it, actually, I, I, best, I guess I better explain this little setup here. So I have kind of like a, this is a homemade cooling pad. Um, it has a 120 millimeter fan in there. It's made with a binder and duct tape. Works quite well, actually, even though it is kind of uh, jerry-rigged together. I have a USB hub over here with a whole bunch of USB devices and then I have a VGA to HDMI converter it also does sound but I'm actually using a USB soundbar as you can see underneath there and of course all these cabling leading up to that so that's what I have going on here with of course an HDTV at 1080p and just in case you're not you're not a believer I just want to prove this this is in fact 1080p um, this is only the 1024 by 600 screen on the mini so I'm not sure if this would work any better with a uh, let me just fix this with uh, the what is it 1366 by 768 screen that you can get for this so this is in fact 1080p on the uh, HDTV so you could see that there right so uh, back into it I have a network with a couple hard drives if you can see the flashing lights over there plugged into my router and that's how I play movies I do it over a network in this case I have it plugged in just because I have so many cords going through here why not run an Ethernet cable but you can do this wirelessly as well and it works just as well or just as good so basically um, We'll get a 1080p video up and see how well it works. So I'll just throw that over there because that's where I want it to open. And then I'll go to my movies. Uh, so. And we'll get like, uh, here's a great movie, brand new, Deadpool. So 1080p. And just give it a sec. Now, when it first starts loading, it usually experiences a little stutter. I don't know what's going to happen here. Because it just kind of, I guess the V-Sync has to kick in and the sound has to sync up and everything. So, But it is working. Um, and it's coming off of that sound bar. It's pretty smooth. So just one sec, let's see. Maximize this. And you can also do things on the mini at the same time as you do this. Um, so here's just a quick little demonstration of Deadpool. Now, I really like this USB speaker. It's kind of hard to see now because the screen is so bright. It's made by Logitech. It's quite old, but it works phenomenally well. And you can control it from the sound on the actual computer itself, which is handy. So I can just, uh, you know, bring it up, down, and volume up just by doing that instead of having to use it it uses the USB drivers which is awesome but yeah this is working and it actually lets me skip to um, 
which is very fast considering it's not even plugged directly into here. But yeah, as you see there, it there is a little bit of stutter. But once it balances out, okay, we gotta need to pause it. Once it balances out, it's fine. My slender brown friend, love is a beautiful thing. When you find it, the whole world tastes like daffodil danger. Let's actually get an action scene so we can see the frame right here. Tight and never let go. Oh, maybe, maybe a little back further. Okay, let's pause. Okay, so freaks out a little bit when it gets any type of uh, action, but you just need to give it a sec for everything to sync up, and it's fine. But it is working, and it's extremely smooth. Um, so as you see down here, uh, where's my mouse? Well, this screen real estate makes it hard to... So down here I have the uh, Crystal HD decoder tray icon, and it's using the HD decoder to do this. Uh, otherwise it would have no possible way of doing this. Um, in fact, the... Uh, what is it? Uh, the, the graphics... An integrated graphics processor in here has a hard time just having a second monitor in the first place, but the... Uh, I'll plug it, it's kind of getting loud. But once it, it detects the decoder, it works perfectly fine. I mean, I use this little netbook for all kinds of different things, and it's really just a project that I've been tinkering with more so than anything realistic, because, of course, like I said, I could just go and buy a, a, you know, a couple hundred dollar, uh, uh, I don't know, tablet or anything, really, that could do this nowadays. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty well it. I just wanted to show the... 1080p capability that it can do it um, on an actual 1080p uh, resolution screen. So yeah, I mean it works works pretty well for the most part. It is kind of finicky. Uh, you kind of got to work with it. And like for example, if you noticed, I opened up a uh, Media Player Classic and then I dragged it over and then opened it. I kept having an issue every time I would open it on here and then drag it over to there. It kept giving me, it, it said not responding and it wouldn't work, but if I drag it over there first and then open the video, it works. So, again, trial and error. <laughs> so, yeah, it works and it works well. Uh, I mean, I could just as easily just plug in the mojo and get that to make it work, but that's not as fun. That doesn't make things interesting. This is interesting because it's like, it's like people who put a projector out on their garage and make their their front uh, driveway into a drive-in. It's sure you could go and go into a dry an actual drive-in, but that's that's not the point. The point is that you want to make things interesting and this is really a learning experience too in itself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh yeah, stay tuned for the next video on some of the tech I do. It's pretty cool.